Hi and welcome. Our goal for this episode is to render our first React component. For this, we need to install and set up React stuff into our project as well as Webpack to bundle all our code together. So let's get down to business. So let's open the index.html file here and let's remove this hello world example from here. Instead of it, we're going to add div with id app. This is where the whole React application will be rendered. So now let's create entry point for our front-end application. So in root folder of our project, let's create client folder and, and inside of it index.js file. So first that we want to do is we want to import React from React, which we haven't installed yet, of course. Then we want to import render from React DOM. And then we want to import app from components app. So this is the very simple component that we're gonna create in a moment and that we want to render on the page. And after that, we actually render this app component to document and we get element by ID, in our case, app, which is corresponding to this app here. Okay, so now we need to create this component app. So we go to client, we create folder components and here app.js. So it's very simple component here. We're going to go with functional components. So we input react from react and then we export default function, which returns hello world. So we hello from react. Okay, save it. So, and of course we need to install React and React DOM. So we do npm install, save, React and React DOM. Okay, that's nice. But now we need to bundle this code and include it into our HTML page. So let's go back to index.html in our editor. So here we add script tag and it will point to bundle.js and that's it that's all that we need to do here so webpack will bundle all the things all client stuff into one bundle.js file and then it will serve it so now we go into the funniest part the configuring webpack are you excited so we'll make baby steps as usual and only configure things we need for now as we use Express, we're going to use Webpack Dev middleware package. So let's go to index.js in server. And here we're going to import several packages. We're going to import Webpack from Webpack. We're going to import Webpack middleware from Webpack Dev middleware package. And then we're going to use this Webpack middleware. So we on our app, we use middleware webpack middleware here, and it takes a compiler. And a compiler is the webpack function which is run with webpack config. Okay, so we need this webpack config, and we're going to import it from root folder of our project, and we call it webpack.config.dev.js. So now we need to create this config. So let's create webpack.config.dev.js and inside of it we export default object, the configuration object. And the two things that we must provide is an entry which is going to be the client index file. So we again use path join. We're going to take dear, dear name and client index.js. And the second thing that we must provide is output. And for our purposes, we need to provide path. And we can specify any path here because middleware actually doesn't care about it because middleware will serve this from memory instead of creating the file, the bundle, the actual bundle JS file, it will serve it from memory. Okay, so now we have configuration. So let's install npm install save dev and we install webpack and webpack dev middleware. Okay, done. So let's run server and try it out. 
Okay, we have an error. First of all, we do not have path, which is which makes total sense. I forgot to input path from path. Let's try it again. And now we have another error. So we have unexpected token because uh, Webpack doesn't know anything about JavaScript. So we need actually to, to instruct it how to handle JavaScript files. So we need to use some kind of a loader. So let's go back here into our config and right here let's define module and module is the object where we have our loaders. Loaders is a, an array and here an array of objects and here we provide First of all, we provide tests, so what kind of files we want to search for. And in our case, there's going to be JS with at the end of the file, so JS extension. Also, I like to provide include, which is going to be path join, dname as usual, and client. So I include only JS files from client folder. And the last one, the most important one, is loaders that we want to apply to these files. And our loader is Babel. Also, we need to provide resolve and provide extensions for it as MT1 and as JS. With dot, of course. So as a loader here, we specify Babel. And this loader will transpile ES6 code. So if we run it now, We'll see that cannot resolve module Babel because we actually haven't installed it. So let's do that. npm install save dev Babel loader. Okay, let's run it again. So now we have another. Now we have syntax error, and Babel does understand React by default. So we actually need to provide another preset for Babel to understand React. So let's do this. Let's open our Babel RC file and inside of here we're gonna add another preset, we call it React. And of course we need to install it, so we do npm install save dev Babel preset React. Okay, we've come a long way, what we have now? Hmm, it seems like everything's working, so let's go to browser reload the page, and now we have hello from React. Excellent. If we open developer tools and go to React, you can see that we have stateless component here. Cool. Okay, in our Webpack config here, let's add another thing, which is DevTools eval source map. So we have source map, so we won't lose our minds while debugging. And Basically, that's it. We accomplished our goal to render our first React component on the page. So here is the result of our work. So let's edit and commit. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.